Okay, from here you want to head east. No, we don't want to head east. Can I use this? Use the master key on that. There we go. I can't use the master key straight on the door. No, no. We have to use it on the little terminal to the to the side. Okay, so we head down the stairs and uh oh, uh oh, don't don't you forget about this over here. The survival tent. Important to pick that up. All right, and we just want to head down through the door here to the west. And now we're in the hangar. Can you see us? I can't see us. There we are. Yeah, we're hiding in the corner over there. Now where is Welltall? Find me my Welltall. Anything? Oh, isn't he? No, they moved him. Damn it! A giant save point. Hey, what's up, dude? This is the automated gear shop. Let's see, does he have anything cool? Oh, yeah, not the fuel. V12, two, 2000, pretty much. If you haven't gotten it before, then uh, now's the time to get it. Oh, oh, here we go. We want to upgrade his his frame, yeah, to 5100 HP. Um, Vierge use, huh? Woohoo! Heimdall, Heimdall, steer use, huh? Yeah, way to g way to give it away, game. Yeah, I didn't spoil it. The game clearly did. Okay, so pretty much the armor is the same as it was before. Hot Rod G. Yeah, nobody can use that. Um, frame HP 10, right? Restores 10% of frame HP. De defensive circuit, uh, response circuit. And then the extra ARs, uh, plus one, plus two, and plus three. Um, now we just need to fuel him up. And uh, he's pretty much fully upgraded. Now I will be changing my setup slightly, though. Can I equip? Yeah, you know, they're, they're fully letting me equip um, the gear here. So, I mean, obviously you can get it. Uh, you, I want to put in the insulated AR, uh, because it's pretty much an extra AR plus three and it reduces the electric damage. Um, on top of that, I want to put in, uh, beam coat and you know what? Forget it. I'm going to keep the magnetic coats on. Uh, you can also put the uh, beam coat and the um, the, the, the frame HP 30 on there if you really want to. I didn't really feel the need to. I, I, I want to try this uh, magnetic coat strategy out. I'm going to save once again and I'll be right back. Okay, now what you need to do to advance the plot here. Ugh. It is on this side, isn't it? There's some blinking displays here. Let's poke them. One, two, three times. Is that going to be enough? Maybe it's not this one. No, it's got to be this one. No. No, it's this one, just like we saw in the cutscene. Yeah. Th isn't that kind of a dick move? All right, let's get on. I want on. No, it won't let me on. There we go. Now I'm on. And, and they hate. Oh, look at that. Look at Satan run behind him. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we want to get on the elevator and head up. Satan apparently doesn't want to ride inside Veltal last time he got thrown off. But, yeah. Man, Satan runs fast. Uh, Jeez, keeps up with the gear. Who would have thought I'd be battling using only my body? What? Must be my imagination. That's not my imagination. What's this vibration? in the sand. Are they launching torpedoes at me? Is it a whale? A gear doesn't vibrate like this. It can't be. Th 
That's a Rancor. Totally not a Rancor. Rancor. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. I'm supposed to fight that without a gear? Huh? That sound. A gear in flight. It's him. Yar. <laughs> what kind of battle cry is Yar? Whatever. So we're up against an upgraded Rancar. This is Rancar R. Yeah. Why not? We're gonna use a booster because I like me my booster. Accuracy evasion down. I think I've got those magnetic coats on. Yeah, camera damage. I can punch the crap out of it. Let's go. Let's go up to attack level three. See what we can do. I do believe I have up to attack level three now. No way. Oh, it blocked it. I, I thought it was dying for a second there. And it hits me for 33 damage. This guy is not tough. Okay, attack level 3. What can I do? X. It w oh, it wouldn't even let me do it. I had Raibu ready. Ah, oh, but I couldn't do it because it died. Yeah, this thing was is not tough. I do get scales for it, though. Thanks for the scales. Jeez. Why are you here? To get this back. It's not like I came here to save you. I love you, Ricardo. We must escape together. I saw you were getting detached. That's why I saved you. Nothing more than that. For a coincidence, that's a pretty convenient story. Like, isn't everybody watching us? Like, don't they know that I just defeated the beast? Like, isn't this, like, broadcasted? Whatever, I'm overthinking it. I barged into the arena. We're also fugitives. That's why we must escape. If you stay, they'll probably make you fight that monster again. I totally kicked its ass and it disappeared. What do you mean he's got to fight it again? I killed it. Even you must have things left to do here, but in your state of mind. Silence! Shut up! Twice! That's twice you've... <sighs> if you want to escape from the Empire, do it now! I have no intention of leaving, even if this is going to be the end for me! Hum... What is that? Oh, rumbling. What's this vibration? This vibration? That's... No. It's not coming from the ground. Is it the vibration in the atmosphere? What the hell are you talking about? That doesn't sound good. What do they see? Damn it, what do they see? Oh. Oh. It's the Gebler Air Fleet. And I assume that the, there are spotlights and then those are like anti-air machine gun fire with the bullets that are flying out of there. Oh, we got one! Sweet, I totally did that. And down it goes, and it explodes and kills a whole bunch of people that were living there. I thought the Gebler forces were supposed to be, like, on another level, technologically, so how were they able to take them down? That's already two! Oh, but then the whole place went under. Good lord. They look like zeppelins. Or blimps. They don't look like attack battleships. Whatever. It is an aerial attack by Ave, or should I say Gabler? They really are intent on t attacking the, the, the Imperial Capital. Good lord, I cannot speak. I apologize for this. They've been on directly attacking the Imperial Capital Nortoon. Oh my god. That ship is heading to the power plant. Oh no, that is a nuclear reactor. Most likely that ship is their main line of attack. If they drop something on the reactor, the whole Imperial Capital will be blown away. 
If we can change their course, will that help? Yes, but we can't just turn and run away. We have to do this. You should totally get in your gear too and help out. Or you could just stand there and watch me fly off. If those civilians do not hurry and get out. And so he's going to help the civilians again. Just like in Layhand. Do you remember how that worked out for everybody? Ricardo, what is it? Who's that? Aren't those the Ave pirates? That's... That's Faye! What's he doing here? He seems to follow us everywhere. No, you just attack wherever I am because that's what they freaking want. Third time's a charm. Let's get him. Wait. Rank? From our last incident, I can tell that you're friends with that gear's pilot. But there's no way we can stop. It doesn't matter that we're escorting the Hecht. I want to fight him. Not as enemy soldiers, but as rival competitors. We're the Kepler Special Forces and we won't be beaten! You want to test that? I'm going to have to kick his butt. Any objections? Yes, I have an objective to you using the word butt. You use the word ass. Whatever, it's an RPG. What am I going to do? They said ass in Japanese. I know it did. You're in the way! Move! We must change the rear ship's course or... You again. Ah, oh, the Aegis Knight. And it's time for another Gabler boss run. And it doesn't look like I got a full heal on my fuel, so I should have not used the, the booster, but I'm not too concerned about it because these guys were never that tough to begin with. Defense down, dick. Come on. We can do this. Oh, I defended it. 137. Ah, eh, that's not too bad. I've got, I still got just about 5,000 health to go. Oh, come on. 69 more damage. 213 more, damn you gonna get to attack level three and then it is game over for you.